have your Bible, let's go to First Kings. First Kings chapter 18. <coughs> First Kings chapter 18, you can get there, let's stand. <coughs> Very familiar scripture preached on this passage of scripture many, many, many times. Um, but I believe this is what the Lord would have to be this morning. If you're there, say amen. Amen. Look at verse 36. And it came to pass at the time of the offering of the evening sacrifice that Elijah the prophet came here and said, O Lord, said, Lord God of Abraham, Isaac, and of Israel, let it be known this day that thou art God in Israel, and that I am thy servant, and that I have done all these things at thy word. Hear me, O Lord, hear me, that this people may know that thou art the Lord God, and that thou hast turned their hearts back again. Then the fire of the Lord fell and consumed the burnt sacrifice in the wood and the stones and the dust and lifted up the water that was in the trench. And when all the people saw it, they fell on their faces and said, The Lord, He is the God. The Lord, He is the God. Amen. I want to preach a little while on this thought. If the fire falls, if the fire falls. God, we love you and we come to you in Jesus' name. Lord, I ask your hand to be upon us right now, God. Lord, I pray for our church family. I pray, God, for each and every one that's here today, God, that you would just touch us. Maybe each and every one that might be listening, God, over the internet, Lord. I pray right now, Lord, you touch them. And God, help us today, God, to preach this in a way that you would be pleasing, Lord. Help me to preach it in love, God. Help me to Preach it in a way, God, that uh, your people would understand everything, Lord. And I pray that the Holy Ghost would move right now in this church. Speak to hearts, individually. <coughs> Help us right now, God. And we'll praise you for all you do, Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. You may be seated. Got up this morning, and like I do most every Sunday morning, I get ready. And uh, when I get, I, most of the time I'm through getting ready, I spend about 15, 20 minutes, and Juwan's getting ready, so I go in there and I'll have my prayer time and I'll turn the TV on and try to watch some preaching or something and pull up an old, old preacher this morning. What? Told Brother Billy about this this morning. And some of the other guys. And Leonard Ravenhill. If you've never heard him preach, pull him up. You won't listen to him long. You'll be on your knees. But he said something that, 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 that struck me. And I, the Lord had already laid on my heart where I was preaching from. God had already given me a message for this morning. But this is what He said. He said, the Holy Ghost didn't come to give you power. But the Holy Ghost came so that you would have purity. Amen. And I thought about that. Then when we got into Sunday school, and uh, our Sunday school went like it did. And I'm telling you, uh, folks, I'm telling you, God wants to do something today. The book of Lamentations is basically a funeral service for the city of Jerusalem and the nation of Israel. And I thought about it as David was, was, was teaching this morning. And, and, I, and the thought just kept coming to my mind that who had let down God in the book of Lamentations? We can't blame it on the lost people because sinners is going to be sinners. We can't blame what's going on in America and throughout the world today on the lost people because sinners are going to be sinners. So where does the blame lie? You have to put it at the church. That's right. It's real easy to get complacent on God. It's real easy to get uh, satisfied of where we're at. And if we're not careful, we all do it. It's real easy to say, well, I, 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 I thank the Lord for what we've done. God's given us some beautiful buildings and God's moved in a mighty way. And it's real easy for us to say, sit back on our worlds and say, look what God's done. But God ain't finished working. Amen. And in this passage of Scripture, anybody 
that, that, that knows this passage of Scripture knows that the, the children of Israel, the church family, had really gotten out of touch with God. Uh, uh, Elijah was, 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 prop, was prophesying, but he was prophesying to false prophets. He was prophesying to false preachers. And that's where the church is at today as a whole. Let's just be honest. I mean, everybody wants to lie splashing and everybody wants to preach a preaching with his skinny jeans on. And everybody wants everything just like they want. They, and they want to have Sunday morning service and they don't want to have to come back on Sunday night. And they don't want to come back on, on Wednesday night because that inconveniences everybody. But we want the power of God, but we don't want the purity of God. And we need to stop saying, Brother Billy, we need to stop saying when the fire falls. So that's what we used to say in church west. We better start saying if the fire falls. But I'm telling you right now, we need revival. We, don't, we need revival at Liberty, Freeman Baptist Church. You say, well, preacher, we just had revival. No, I ain't talking about having a series of services where, where preacher Mike Blank comes in and I, I, that, that was good and I enjoyed that. And that helped me and blessed me. But I'm telling you, folks, we need revival today. We need for God to move in our lives and we need for God to move in our churches like we haven't seen in a long time. So my question is, if we're all going to preach about if the fire falls, number one, let me ask you a question. Can the fire fall. Amen. Can the fire fall? Is God still on the throne? Yes. Amen. Is God still in charge? Yes. The, does the Word of God still do exactly what it says it'll do? Yes. Can the power of God still move in our churches? Can the power of God still move in your life? Can the word of God still be preached? And still people get under conviction? Yet the answer is yes, the fire can fall. Yes. Amen. 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 Some of y'all wake up. Come on, Come on, Come on, if we ain't careful, we get to a place of sitting in church. All right, preacher, you got to preach something brand new. You want to stir me up? I'm telling you right now, if the word of God don't stir you up, you ain't saved. It's my job to come in here and tell you what must say the word of God. And whether you like it or whether you don't like it, it's your job to take what thus say the word of God, apply it to your heart, and get on an altar and get right with God. Amen. Amen. So then I'm ask the question again. Can the fire of God still fall in our churches? Amen. Some of y'all woke up. The problem is we come to church and act like we've seen it all. Well, I've seen people get healed in church before, preacher. I've seen God save people before, preacher. Let me tell you something. The problem is, you ain't coming expecting something new. Let me ask you a question. Can you imagine being on Mount Carmel on this day? And you got the, all these false prophets, and I'll get into all that in, in a little bit. The false prophets are, are prophesying. I'm talking about the people in church now, Matt. We're, 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 we're not doing what they were supposed to do. And Elijah is preaching his heart out. And the, the president or the king was not doing what they're supposed to do. Let me tell you some folks, we're living in a time where you got very few politicians that's even halfway got their sense about them. Amen. And the problem is America's falling all these idiots right down the same road. And so we live in a time where we don't think we don't think God can do anything. We live in a time where we don't we well, well we've seen it all. I'm telling you right now, if you've been on Mount Carmel that day, then if I can stop praying and the fire of God fell down and lit up all the stones, burned up all the wood, dried up all the water, you just said, Hey, I've seen something new. Amen. So when's the last time you prayed God showed me something new? When's the last time you came to church expecting God to show you something new? So the question is, can the fire fall? Amen. Everybody say amen right there. Amen. That's how you should answer it to start with. Amen. I'd, I'd have been on point number three by now. So we know that the fire can still fall 
Amen. I still believe God's still God. I still believe God sits on the throne. I tell you, I don't care who sits in the White House. God always sits on the throne. Amen. So the fire can fall. And you ask your question, what's it going to take for the fire to fall? It might take you standing by yourself. Because what you got on Mount Carmel is one man of God that knows he's the man of God. That's, the, that's right in the center of where God wants him to be. And he's standing right by himself. He is standing against the church. He is standing against the political leaders. He is standing, <coughs> he is standing against the people. I'm telling you right now, he's out there right by himself. And the Bible says that he prepared to offer glory to God. That means if the fire's going to fall, we got to do some things on this altar. Brother David was talking about it this morning. How did we used to come around this altar? And you can see the tear stains on the altar. I'm talking about talk, praying for the lost people. I understand, Wes, that when I got something going on in my life, and I want God to move in my life, and I got a crisis in my life, yes, there's tear stains on this altar. But what about when everything's going good? Amen. Amen. Come on, preach. Come on, preach. If people die and going to hell every day. We only cry when something in our family. If we want the fire to fall, some things got to be done. The Bible says, Scott, that he repaired the altars. Not only did he repair the altars, he went a step further. The Bible says that he got the wood in order and he sent it out water and poured it all over it. Man, what Elijah was doing was backing off and said, you watch this. God's getting ready to do something. When God starts moving, you're going to know it's God. You're going to know it ain't me. When God starts moving, see, it was, uh, Elijah knew he had to prove to the people that it wasn't about him. He had to prove to the people that God was going to do this. See, the problem is if you ain't getting tapped on the back, you don't want to do that. Elijah said, you watch this. You watch what God's going to do. And when the fire fell, everybody knew it was God. Because what did the people say? When the fire fell, the Bible says, and the people, when the people saw it, they fell on their faces and they said, the Lord, He is the God. The Lord, He is the God. They didn't say, Woo, what a mighty man Elijah was. Can you hear how that man prayed? He prayed a short little prayer. In the fire. They said nothing about Elijah. It ain't got nothing to do with me. And it ain't got nothing to do with you. It's all about lifting up Jesus Christ. So can the fire fall? Yes. What will it take for the fire to fall? We see, we've got to do it. Ain't, I forget who it was. One, one of the presidents said, ain't it amazing what you can get done when it don't matter who gets the credit? <laughs> we got to be faithful. David said, took them all ago, and I'm, I'm, I'm going to reiterate it. It's not about master men, amen? That's right. It ain't. It ain't about ladies on the it ain't about an Easter plan. It ain't about, it's all about lifting up Jesus and seeing his soul saved. But I'm telling you right now, look at me real good. When you don't care about masters, me. And when you don't care about ladies all too. And when you don't care about senior saints. And you don't care about the Easter plan. That's when there's a problem. Because when you don't care about those things, I really wonder if you really care about the church. Real easy to get to place today. What's it going to take for the fire to fall? It's going to take for us to. Well, God says that my people, which are called by my name, shall humble themselves and pray, turn away with ways and seek my face. Yeah, amen. Bless you. Then will I hear from them. Amen. So understand something. When. And if the fire falls, what are you going to do about it? Verse 39. Number one, you're going to have to go 
proclaim that God is God. The people said, the Lord, He is the God. When's the last time you actually praised Jesus? Yeah. When's, the last time, when's the last time you actually got yourself out of the way and just let Jesus get all the praise yeah. and all the glory and it didn't matter what happened? When, when's the last time, let me ask you a question. When's the last time you upset somebody in church with your praise? Great. <laughs> When's the last time you got on somebody's nerves with your praise? <coughs> People, you know, everybody, everybody talks about how it used to be. I don't, we, we've already proved that the fire can still fall. Amen. Amen. We've already proved that God's still God. We've already proved that He's still on the throne. We've already proved that we, hey, if the fire falls, we've got to let God know He's God. Not me. He's God. Amen. We gotta praise him. We gotta honor him. We gotta glorify him. He's the one that needs to be lifted up. I'm the fire fell on the mountain. Glory to God. And all the people, the Bible, go back and listen to what it said. And, 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 and all the oh, and all when all the people saw it. When all the people. Amen. That means everybody. That means that what that, that means that the ones on this side look worshiping and shouting, and the ones in the middle being quiet, and the ones on this side shouting. Now that means everybody come together, glory to God. That means that, If he was Lord of your life, then some of the things I've been preaching on, you'd be doing. Yes. Yes. When the fire falls, you've got to make sure he's done. Amen. Verse 40 says, And Elijah said unto them, Take the prophets of Baal, and let not one of them escape. And they took them, and Elijah brought them down to the brook Kishon and slew them. When the fire falls, you have to kill some things in your life. There's some things in our lives that got to die, folks. Pride's got to go. That's right. Well, I'll tell you, preacher. So and so hurt my feelings, and they never apologize to me. Well, la ti da. Come on now, break down. Me and so and so's been fussing for two years. Well, get over it. Amen. I wonder. But really, I wonder how many was on that mountain when the fire fell. That was enemies before the fire fell. When the fire of God fell, Sandy, they made up. Amen. Amen. Ain't it amazing how things happen, Skip, when the fire falls? There's some things we got to get out of our lives. It ain't about it ain't about what happened in the past. It's all about what we want God to do right now. Amen. It ain't about what God did in the past. It's what we want God to do right. We've been coming to church and power of God moving people stand up in front of the church and say amen and raise their hands and people sing and people come to the altar and, but yet you sit there. You in a trap. And you ain't felt God move in a long time. You remember, you remember what it felt like. You know what it is to feel God move. You know what it is to feel the presence of God just fill your heart till, till your eyes start overflowing. You know what it feels like. But you ain't felt it in a while. But the Bible says when we get things right with God and when we get the altar prepared and when we get our prayer life 
And when we kill some things in our life, the first 45 said it started to rain. Yeah. When the fire of God starts to fall, folks, you're going to have to expect some things. When the fire of God starts to fall, expect it to rain. When the fire of God starts to fall, expect God to move. When the fire of God starts to fall, expect to feel His presence. I might not feel His presence right now, but I can sense that the fire of God is moving. And if I can sense that the fire of God is moving, glory to God, I'm just going to go ahead and lift my hand whether I feel Him or not. But when I sense the fire of God is moving, and I sense the fire of God is falling, I'm just going to go ahead and say amen. Whether I feel like saying amen, Go back and read verse 39. When all the people saw it, they fell on their faces and they said, The Lord, He is the God. The Lord, He is the God. And Elijah said unto them, Take the prophets of Baal, not one, let not one of them escape. And they took them, and Elijah brought them down to the brook Kishon and slew them there. I wonder, Mayor, how long, I wonder how long that took. Took a, took a little while to get all that done. Verse 41, then Elijah said, they had get thee up and drink. For there was a sound of abundance of rain, so they had went up to eat and to drink. And Elijah came to the top of Caramel and cast himself down on the earth and put his face between his knees. And he said to the servant, go, look up, go now. Go, up now, look toward the sea. And he went and looked. And he said, there's nothing. And he said, go again seven times. And it came to pass that the seventh time he said, behold, there arises a little cloud out of the sea like a man's hand. And he said, go up and say to Ahab, prepare the chariot and get me down. And the rain stopped me not. In verse 45, and it came to pass in the meanwhile that the heavens was black with the clouds and the wind. And there was a great rain. Okay, it, it took some time between the fire and the rain falls. Glory to God. I tell you, when the fire starts to fall in your life, I tell you, the rain will come. The fire got to fall before the rain can come. The fire got to fall before the rain can come. And you got to prepare yourself for it. You've got to prepare yourself for it. You've got to prepare yourself for the fire to fall in your life. You've got to prepare to offer. You've got to kill some things for the fire to fall in your life. And when you do, just go ahead and praise Him. Till the rain comes. Let me ask you a question. How many want the fire to fall in your life? Well, guess what? If we can get the fire to fall in your life, yeah. and we can get the fire to fall, Jackie, in my life, yeah. you know what happened in the church? Yeah. We'll bring the fire with us. Yeah. How many more fire to fall in your life? Man, I, God wants you to sing something. I don't know what it is. I can't get you off my mind, but God wants you to sing something. <coughs> How many's let some things slip? How many's let the church attendance slip? How many's let our, our attendance to masters, men, ladies, all zillers in? How many's let some of that stuff slip? How many of us has let our prayer life slip? How many of us has let our Bible reading slip? If you want the fire, that stuff's got to be repaired. It's got to be repaired. God, I love you. Lord, I come to you in Jesus' name. God, I thank you, God, for what you've done this morning, God, from Sunday school to now. Lord, I believe with all my heart that you've been moving. And God, I pray right now, Lord, you help us today. God, we all need the fire. There's not a person in this building that don't need fire in their life, God. Have your hand on us right now, God. Whatever we're done, we're going to praise you. We're going to honor you, Lord. In Jesus' name. Amen. If you would let us stand. How many want the fire of God in your life? How many say, Richard, I, I, I'm not, I don't just want to just come to church. I, I need the fire of God. I don't just want to just go through the motions. I need the fire of God in my life. 
How many will be honest? How many will be honest? Come on. We need the fire. We need the fire. As Matt sings. Won't you come? I don't want to hear anymore. Or to you. Teach me to listen. I don't want to see anymore. Just give me a vision that you can move this heart to be set apart. I don't need to recognize the man in the mirror. I don't want to trade your plan for something familiar.
sing it for you. You can play around with God if you want to. You got a real good chance of missing it. 